I bluffed you! I never worked in a hotel! I've been out of my car for a grand total of 55 minutes. 55 minutes? It's depressing. Well, I've lost challenge one. What's up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to Michelin challenge number two. You may think after challenge number one, I was a little bit sad and disheartened. And that was true for all of about two minutes until I realized that I was driving my BMW M2 to here, Monaco. I'm just outside Casino Square, ready to explain to you guys what challenge number two entails and why I'm so happy and why I think I've got it in the bag. Michelin have challenged myself and Sam to go head to head to try and reach 20 million pounds worth of supercars that is because at the michelin goodwood supercar paddock last year michelin have estimated that it was around 20 millions of pound worth of cars that were at the supercar paddock right a little bit of background knowledge i am filming this all on thursday a random thursday in monaco you would have seen from my last two vlogs that i've been here for about four days but i've decided to save everything for today now the weather is not blistering sun it is a little bit cloudy with a little bit of blue sky so hopefully the sun can burn some clouds away oh yes look at this <laughs> we are going off market value current market value ferrari f12 tdf a million <laughs> Right, I'm headed straight to the Hermitage because I want to get, hopefully, the three hypercars that have been here for the last two days. However, I do know that they're leaving today. And I can see the Koenigsegg, but the wires aren't there. Rattling through the value of cars. Koenigsegg Aguera, around 2.53 million pounds. I have absolutely no idea what the current market value is of that car. The thing with these cars is that they are so custom to the specific owner's taste that sometimes they're priceless. But I'm gonna say that that car, three million quid. Oh sh look at this. <laughs> I don't want to swear, but I didn't even know one of those cars existed here in Monaco on Monaco plates. That was a world record edition Bugatti Veyron Vitesse. I've never seen one of them driving on public roads and one just popped out as I just saw a Koenigsegg, a Gera XS. What is going on? This is Thursday, a random Thursday in Monaco. Oh my God. Seeing as I'm down at dealerships, I would like to point out that this does not count. McLaren 720S, around a quarter of a million pound, does not count because we're not counting dealerships because then we could just walk to all of them and see loads and loads of cars and get the value up. However, the car that has just turned up to McLaren does count. This car started at £255,000 when it was first launched. There was only 50 in the world. It is the 650S Can-Am. What is the value of that now? It's got to be 300 grand. It's got to be 300 grand. So far, we're having a pretty solid start. However, I feel like if I jump in a car for a little bit, I may be able to cover more ground. So I've called upon my friend Donze, and he is coming in his S Class. I've specifically requested his S Class because it will be quiet but it is still quite punchy, meaning that we'll be able to keep up with the cars in silence, which is better for the video. So we're gonna try and find some supercars to follow, see how we get on. Oh, what's up, what's up? What's up, how you doing? Good, and you? Yeah, let's go and find some cars.
weaving my way through the Fairmont car park because there are two cars here that I do not know the value of. First one is an SL65 Black Series. Super rare, on UK plates, left-hand drive, but next to it, we have a car that I couldn't put a value on. It is a full Mansory F12. This is the first time I've seen a Mansory F12. I've seen a lot of Mansory cars in my time. I've seen the famous Mansory Stallone, the 599, which was ripping it around London. I wonder if this sounds as good, if not better, than the 599. But it is crazy, the amount of carbon fiber. It's a shame that I'm seeing it parked up. Hopefully, over the next sort of six or seven hours that I'm filming this video, I get to see and hear this driving around the streets of Monaco. Carbon fiber everywhere, brand new revised body kit, which I can imagine is a little bit like Marmite, love or hate it. I think it's pretty cool. It sits quite nicely next to the SL Black Series. Nice little duo with this car, which I've already seen. Casino Bay Hotel is normally quite good, but at the moment there's an Evoke, a Ghost, which, yep, a Bentley up there, and then you, oh no, you see the front. Oh, yes! <laughs> this is the Bugatti that I saw two nights ago, I think. Bugatti Veyron. Get in the pot. Now rather fitting, seeing as this is Michelin Challenge number two, that I see a Bugatti Veyron, beautiful spec by the way, really really nice, but as most people know, Michelin actually developed custom tyres, the Pilot Sport Packs, I'm reading the tyre right about now, so these are completely custom tyres that only fit the Bugatti Veyron, so pretty cool that I've seen one of these, and uh, I do quite like the spec, from Dubai. I'm refueled, smashed dinner. I've got loads of energy to continue through the night and uh, it is a little bit quieter now. This is always the downtime period where the cars that are either out during working hours come back and everyone gets changed before they go out for dinner or they go out for a few drinks. So I think I've probably got about an hour before things kick off. So I thought that I would try and give Sam a call, see how he's getting on because he's headed towards Monaco so that we can do the results. I'm feeling pretty confident but I'm going to get to the Monaco Bay Hotel and uh, firstly, see if there are any cars there. Secondly, give Sam a call. Sam. On another line. Just leave you a message Hello, Sam. <laughs> Hello, Paul. <laughs> I can hear your indicator. It must mean you're. Fantastic to talk to you again. <laughs> I know. I uh, want to know how you're getting on. How far away from Monaco are you? I'm here. I'm literally. I'm, I'm here. I'll be. I'll be in town in. 30 minutes. Uh, how have you done? Um, I've, uh, I can't really hear you. Ah, <coughs> oh, you're breaking up. Ah, <coughs> uh, ah. Uh. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> that is an Aventador. <laughs> You can literally still hear that. 200 grand for, let's say, a used Aventador, plus the kit, 
That's around a quarter of a million quid. Oh, what is that? Oh. Hey, hey! Hello! <laughs> I heard you Stop. coming. <laughs> you look stupid. Well, I'm doing the pole roll. <laughs> Wanna lift? Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna die. Uh, are you parking there? Yeah. Right. Bonjour. Get in. Bonjour. Welcome to the SVR. <laughs> I can take that off now. <laughs> Results time! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good on current market values, but I well, neither, get the well, yeah. feeling that the Pagani and Koenigsegg may have beaten. Really? <laughs> Just those three cars? Shall I do my total Go first? Go on, do your total first, and then we can discuss how... Why I'm feeling so smug. 5.5 <laughs> million. <laughs> so puny. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah, I think I've got near 22 million. No! <laughs> yeah. No! Yeah. The biggest shock for me okay. that I haven't even shared on social media because I wanted it to be a surprise to you. Because, okay, what did I, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's not going to be a classic because you wouldn't care. Um, P1 GTR. No. A world record edition Grand Sport Vitesse. On no. Monaco, mate. Oh my god! I literally did not even know that existed here. No clue! <laughs> but how naive am I? Oh, but, oh god! Okay, let me rattle it through. So I saw okay. two TDFs, or I caught two TDFs on camera. Yeah. I saw a third, okay, and I missed that. No, I, show. I also missed I saw an SQ7. I also right. missed a 918. So, Monaco, tw over 22 million. Yeah. Geneva, 3.2 3 that <laughs> yeah, eventually yeah, 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 5.5 yeah, yeah. and I saw very wrong. <laughs> Ridiculous. Now, oh, I'm depressed. <laughs> it is one all. I was trying to justify it. Is it is one all, which means everyone still needs to continue to hashtag Michelin. Michelin S -L -L. STG. S -L -L. S -T Michelin STG. Every tweet must include hashtag STG. Michelin STG. STG. If you're going to post a picture on Instagram, hashtag Michelin as well. If you're going to tweet, Michelin I'll like it. <laughs> I'll go into Instagram and I'll like every single picture <laughs> of Michelin SOL. We have one more main challenge to come. Yeah, and then the bonus points. The bonus hashtags. points from the hashtag. So the hashtags actually will determine whoever wins. Big deal. Yeah, yeah, big, big deal. deal. Huge, so yeah, so we need the hashtags. Need support. And then Goodwood. Yeah, it's going to be huge. To it's going to be huge. I'm going to sign. I'm going to sign off for my video. I, I was just going to say. It's nice no, 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 I don't. It's nice to be back. In Michelin there. STG. Uh, oh. I hope oh. STG. Oh. I hope you guys have enjoyed oh. the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Michelin STG. Yes. Ooh. Got it in. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.